doll. There you go. Can we say hi? Can you say hi? Say hi! And welcome to Creme de la Crush, a cooking class for toddlers. Today, Vivi and I are going to be making salmon nuggets. Salmon nuggets. You love salmon. Yeah. That's right. You want to show them? Should we show them what you're doing? So to start, we're throwing back to an activity that we did during our foodie week, which is cracker rolling. And it's a really satisfying sensory activity for little ones. You can do this with any type of cracker, but Vivi really likes to do it with these butter crackers. And we're actually gonna use them in our recipe to make the nuggets. That's right, you keep doing that, big girl. You keep doing that. There we go. We're just gonna give people some time to get on. That's right. Can you say hi? That's Gabe. You say hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. Say welcome to Creme de la Crush, a cooking class for toddlers. We're making salmon nuggets today. That's right. Salmon nuggets. And Vivi is rolling out her crackers right now. She's rolling them out. Can you see? Roll those crackers, roll those crackers. Yeah, roll out the crackers. So we're gonna go ahead and officially get started here. Um, while Vivi is rolling out her crackers, you're okay. Can you give them a good squish? What? Mwah. Mama is going to shred up the salmon. Are you all done rolling your crackers? Let's take a look. We need them to be nice and squishy. Nice and squishy. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you did a good job. Can you give it one more roll for me? One more good roll. Good job. That's right, big girl. Nice and squishy. High fives. Boom. Okay, so the crackers are rolled. And now... We're going to add our salmon into our food processor. And we're doing salmon because this week is under the sea week. And we've been studying the ocean all week. Mm -hmm. And salmon are androgynous fish. They live in fresh water and they live in seawater like the ocean. So I've just taken a salmon filet and I've pulled the skin off and I've put all of it into our food processor. Do you want to add some more ingredients? No, you don't want to today. Can you dump this in here? Well, come on up. You want to be held. Okay. Let's see. Can you dump it in? So we're dumping in. Good job. We're dumping in a two tablespoons of yellow mustard and one tablespoon of agave nectar into our salmon bites. That's right. That's okay. You want to crack an egg? So we've got one filet of salmon and two tablespoons of yellow mustard and one tablespoon of agave nectar so far in our pureeer. We're going to add this bag of um of homemade breadcrumbs out of crackers into the puree as well and we're also going to add one egg which vivi's going to crack right here are you ready miss vivi let's crack your egg we've been letting vivi crack her own eggs for a while you don't want to do you want to crack it well then let's do it mama's going to stay right here with you that's for later can you crack your egg? Can you crack your egg, Miss Vivi? Come on, let's crack it. Can you do it? Yes. You gotta do it on the side. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, now open it up. Good job, good job. You wanna whisk it? Yes, it's your favorite. Good job. All right, let's whisk your egg. Mix 
it up. That's right. Whisk your egg. Whisk your egg. There we go. <gasps> Is that Gabe? Yeah. That's right. You see Oliver? You see Oliver? There he is. Okay, are you all done? Are you all done? Can you dump it into the mix here? Yeah. You're going through a clingy face. Here we go. Dump it in. You dump it in. Good job. Good job. One egg. One egg added. And this is about a third cup of breadcrumbs. And we're gonna add that in as well, just to give it a little bit of stick. You wanna dump it in? Two hands. There you go. I guess technically that was two hands because we were both doing it together. All right, I think that's everything that we need in our salmon nuggets. Let's give it a whir. Let's give it a whir. We're just gonna use our handy dandy food processor here to give this a quick whir. And let's check the consistency. Let's see how we did. <gasps> Looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good to me. And this is about the consistency that you want. So it should stick to your spoon when you flip it upside down. Perfect. So we're gonna take these and we're going to scoop them out and I'm actually going to coat them in panko breadcrumbs and then we're going to bake them. We're actually gonna double up on this recipe because I wanna make something that Vivi likes, but I also wanna make something that Nate and I can eat because there's just not enough time to make two meals every day. So we're going to do nuggets for her and salmon burgers for us and we'll make um, a nice side to go with it. So the other thing that we're gonna do after doing these salmon nuggets is to make a dip. Do you wanna make a yogurt dip? Yeah, let's set this aside. So one of the other ways that we usually get Vivi to eat things that she's not super interested in eating is to give her a dip. She loves dip and it can be a healthy dip if you're trying to keep things, you know, on the straight and narrow. Oh, and yogurt is her favorite. So we're going to make a yogurt dip with a little bit of garlic, salt, and, um, some dill and some lemon juice and mix it all up and she'll be able to dunk her nuggets into the dip. You wanna make some dip? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's make some dip. Okay, let's make some dip. Can you put, let's take a big scoop of this and put it in there. Mama's gonna put it in there. You can stir it in just a second. Give mama a minute. Oh, you love yogurt. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt. It's your favorite. And this will also be a spin for mom and dad as well because we're going to take this and I'm actually going to add a scoop of mayo for ourselves and we'll put it on our buns as a dip as for or as a, a dressing for us well mama's very articulate today not enough coffee do you want to help me season it can you help me season it can you put the dill in okay put that in your mouth okay help put the dill in yep shake 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 keep going keep going <laughs> and you're looking for about a quarter teaspoon of dill um, if you have fresh dill, even better. Uh, we only had dried, so that's what we're using. Okay, and let's use some of Heinz Brine's 
brew pub seasoning here. And this is just like a garlic seasoning that we get from a local company called Heinz Brines. We love them. And so we use them all the time. Um, so we've got um, a quarter teaspoon of dill, a quarter teaspoon of garlic seasoning of some sort. We're gonna salt and pepper this. Here you go. Twist, 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 twist. Just a dash of salt, guys, not a ton, and a dash of pepper. That's right, good job. Okay, we wanna squeeze a lemon. Yeah, 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 I wanna squeeze a lemon. Okay, let's roll our lemon. Can you roll it like mama used to show you? Give it a roll, roll it out. And this is so that the lemon is juicier. Give it a roll, keep going. Yep. All right, let's juice a lemon. So we've got our little juicer here. Mama's gonna cut this in half real quick. All right, go ahead. That's right, give it a push. Two hands, good job, big pushes. Big pushes, good job, thank you. Mama, give you a little help. Good job. So these are great fine motor skills that you can practice with them. Frankly, it's a little gross motor because she's really using all of her arm muscles to get this all coordinated. And that's why I love cooking because it's a lot of different things. There's counting, there's measuring, um, and they're very motivated. Um, and once you're done, they'll be more motivated to try new foods because they enjoy the process of cooking them with you. And it seems less scary when they know what happens. Okay. I think that's all we need. We are gonna add, not the whole half of lemon, we're gonna add about a half uh, or a quarter of a lemon here, and then we'll mix it up. You wanna mix it up? Here's your mixer, mixy, mixy. And we're gonna stir it all together. We're gonna stir it all together. Mm. Should we taste it? What do you think? Mm -hmm. It's kind of sour. I feel like we went a little heavy on the um, thing. So I'm gonna even put a little bit, I always cook to taste. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit more yogurt in to balance that out. But I think for once we're ready and put that, add that mayonnaise in on the side, it's gonna be really yummy. All right, now we've got our dip. And we've got our salmon bites. And like I said, all we're gonna do is scoop these out. We're gonna coat the outside of them in panko. And we're going to bake them at 350. Um, I will have to look up how long to bake them. I know it's actually not very long. You wanna bake them pretty quickly because it's salmon. So I wanna say it's probably like five minutes in the oven, but I will post as a follow-up what you need to do to finish these bad boys off. But really your toddler's work is done here. So we're gonna wrap up the class um, and say, thank you so much for coming to Creme de la Creche. Follow up with us um, and uh, we'll show you how to finish everything out. And have a great morning, everybody. Can you say bye-bye, Vivi? Mm -hmm. No. I'm a grouchy toddler. Come here. Say bye-bye. Let's say bye-bye. wrapped up our salmon nuggets and I wanted to kind of show you what they turned out like really quickly. Um, we just had a bowl of panko breadcrumbs and I honestly took a scoop uh, about uh, just a regular spoonful, dropped it in there, gently rolled it around and then laid it out on a uh, piece of parchment paper and baked them for about 12 minutes and they turned out amazing. They actually turned out really delicious. So I'll get some video of Viv Vivi having some of her uh, salmon nuggets a little bit later, but hopefully you guys will have more luck with fish with this recipe. Thanks.